July 1, 2021 Daily Devotional Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 10 to 12 When you come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominable practices of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone who burns his son or his daughter as an offering, anyone who practice divination, or tells fortunes, or interprets omens, or a sorcerer, or a charmer, or a medium, or a necromancer, or one who inquires of the dead. For whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God is driving them out before you. What's in a number? What is so special with numbers? Many are fascinated by the lucky numbers. The number seven in the Bible symbolizes perfection and completeness. Seven was first used in Genesis 1 to refer to the week of creation culminating on the seventh day when God rested after he finished creating the whole world. In ancient China, to create a poem within seven steps describes somebody's quick-wittedness and literary creativity. On the other hand, four and seven have negative connotations, with the number four having the same pronunciation as the Chinese character for death, si, and seven, which sounds like the Chinese word for deception, qi. Some refuse to have the number seven in their phone number or the number four in an elevator or a house number because of the bad luck they are perceived to bring. The Seven Year Itch, a famous American movie, is a portrayal of the widespread belief that happiness in a marriage or a long-term romantic relationship declines after around seven years. It has, in fact, become a superstitious belief that couples will face serious problems or may even break up around this period. Numerology is the belief in the divine or mystical relationship between numbers and certain coinciding events. It is often associated with the paranormal alongside astrology and divination. Christians may not be worshipping physical idols, but we may have virtual idols in our minds when we believe in the magic of special and auspicious numbers. When we first started our business, we rented an office space between two funeral homes along Araneta Avenue in Quezon City. Each time I hand over a business card, clients would ask why we chose such an ominous location, to which I would truthfully reply with amusement. Rent is cheaper where nobody wants to rent the place. Our Christian landlord chose to put up the building in a place where feng shui masters frown upon, but because his faith was in God to protect his business and not in the location, our landlord chose to build in the area where superstitious tenants will not want to rent. Amazingly, the building was usually fully occupied for most of our stay. God also blessed our business despite its perceived unlucky location, where we stayed for more than 10 years before we moved to our own office building. By God's grace, we will be celebrating our 30th anniversary by 2022. Moreover, our current residential address is located along 4th Street in New Manila, a number that Chinese people would not want in their address. Yet after more than 20 years in this location, God has protected us from harm and even blessed us with two more children after moving to this address. Our safety is indeed not in the numbers, nor in the absence of danger, but in the presence of our God. God is greater than all the unlucky numbers combined. Our trust is in God's unchanging character, not in the fleeting numbers, nor in the uncertain circumstances around us. Contrary to the secular belief that there is strength in numbers, Christians should find their security in God's unchanging word and in the certainty of His faithful character. Reflection do you find yourself especially careful or fearful on certain days of the month, like Friday the 13th or April 4? Do you avoid certain numbers for your condominium unit, address, or car plate because you believe they bring bad luck? Do you consult the horoscope and check which is your lucky day? Are you afraid of the seventh month in the lunar calendar, also known as the Chinese ghost month? Do you choose auspicious days based on the lunisolar calendar for weddings or even funerals? Prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for setting us free from the bondage of sin and of fear. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You are our refuge and strength. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Take away our illogical fears. We put our trust in you. We do not need to be afraid of the things that this world depends on, for you are the King in heaven and on earth and under the earth, to whom every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. To the glory of God the Father, we pray. Amen. Amen.